How long do you think I'm gonna let this thing grow for? I wanna get it like down to here so I can braid my beard. Um, well, um, I know on this channel, um, I haven't been posting a lot lately. Last couple months, I haven't posted much. Um, but now that I mostly do movie reviews, um, and there's no new movies coming out now, I'm like, well, I kind of want to start filming again. I have some more free time, and what should I do? Well, that last video I did where I reviewed the Green Day's new album, I did pretty well, I think. I mean, for a little part-timer YouTube person like me. So I'm going to review the last new album I bought before the apocalypse happened. Um, there's a band um, fronted by uh, two younger women. Um, they've been around for a long time, but I've only been into them for a couple of years. They're called the Bomb Pops. Uh, the Bomb Pops, I think, are one of the more fun, more talented bands out there. Uh, this is the album I got into them on. This is Fear of Missing Out. This was an excellent record. Loved it. Um, wasn't doing album reviews back then, but if anybody wants to hear like a full analysis of it, I can do that. Um, this is their new album. It's called Death in Venice Beach. Death in Venice Beach. Um, I feel genuinely bad for the two women who uh, front the Bomb Pops. They even have a, a, a web series now called Sliding Into the Bomb Pops DMs because they are, you know, they're both very attractive women. Um, that shouldn't be the focus. They're both great singers and good guitar players as well. But some of the horrible shit people send to them and say to them because th they think they can get away with it, it's awful. So if the ladies ever watch this, you'll never hear that from me. Um, my wife and I are both huge fans, and I have special needs children, and they are huge fans as well. So if you're like me and you like pop punk, and that's my favorite genre, and I'm not talking about the... the the stuff that, you know, like the Simple Plan sort, no, no. I mean like Ramones, Screeching Weasel style punk rock. Even some, well, Bad Religion's more skate punk, but um, I really like them. They, they remind me a lot of some of the early 90s uh, female alternative bands, only a little bit more distortion and a little bit more aggressive. But they had that same sweet yet angry sound. Um, the lyrics aren't like, don't sound like they're written by a child, but they're not trying to be overly complicated either. It's like a very happy medium. Um, if you like three chord punk, you know, Ramones, stuff like that, I think you'll really like it. Uh, they put out a video a couple months ago called Notre Dame, and for me that's the standout song on the album. I mean, it's just, it's a it's beautifully sung, well written, um, and the video's cool. They have two other videos, one called Double Arrow Down and another new one that just popped out. I can't, I, they probably have more than that now. I'm, I'm I'm old. I don't. <laughs> I don't keep up with stuff. Um, I'm trying to keep my voice down because there's an entire house full of people here, and I don't want to be critiqued. Um, but yeah, uh, there's another a song on here. It's called "13 Stories Down," and for me, that's the other standout besides Notre Dame. Those two. I mean, all the songs are good. I, I do have to say, I think the other album as a whole was better. But anytime you compare any two things, one of them is going to be better than the other. I mean, or it's 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 rare you have like a Guardians of the Galaxy situation where, in my opinion, one and two were equally as good as each other. That almost never happens. And you know, like I can like my one of my favorite punk bands is Screeching Weasel. I like uh, Wiggle better than Anthem for a New Tomorrow, but I still love Anthem for a New Tomorrow, and that's the same way I feel here. This is still fantastic. I, I mean, I just bought this uh, two weeks ago, is when it came out, and I've probably listened to it five times, and. I don't typically do that because I have a rather large music collection. I listen to a lot of different things. Um, so for me to listen to the same thing several times is is, is a compliment. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't know if you can get a physical copy right now. I'm sure you can from um, Fat Records' website. Pretty sure they're still selling it. Um, they're still actively shipping out stuff here in the, in the after times. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, stay the fuck at home, people, please. I gotta tell this story real quick on here because hopefully this will get watched. And I have idiot fucking neighbors. Okay, we're in the middle of a thing. This is this is some for real shit going on. And our neighbors behind us had a volleyball thing going on there in their backyard yesterday. There was almost thirty people there, and I'm like, are you fucking people stupid? I know we're all got cabin fever. I mean, I've got it real bad and I don't, I used to never go anywhere, but now that I have to stay at home, it really sucks. I want to get back to normal. So stop being idiots. 
keep looking off to the side because that's like where the timer is and everything. So it's like, I'm too cool to look at the camera. No, I'm not. So, um, once again, Bomb Pops, Death in Venice Beach. I highly recommend this album. Uh, I highly recommend the other one too. The other album, the standout songs for me are the very first song, Capable of Lies. That's my favorite Bomb Pop song. Um, and they did a video for a song here called Be Sweet, and it's a really, really fun up. That's actually the song that I heard first by them that got me into them, and I was like, wait, I kind of I kind of like these guys. Um, yeah. This is Fear of Missing Out. Bomb Pop's Death in Venice Beach. I hope this wasn't too stupid, but I just wanted to throw something up on the channel. So, um, be nice out there. Um... Everybody in the grocery store, quit pushing people to the side and pretending like you're the only person going through this. We're all going through this. Uh, quit, quit going, how this is this affecting me, 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 me? Knock your shit off. Do what I'm doing. Staying home and doing a lot of drinking. And I mean a lot of drinking. And when I say a lot of drinking, I mean a lot of drinking. All right, this is the last for today. See you later.